today in our previous video I have discussed how the MATLAB classification learner app is used in classifying different classes of copy, particularly the CBET copy and non CBET copy. I used the data set from my previous journal that was published in 2018. But now we will use the classification learner app in classifying the Irish data set. The Irish data set is available in the internet. It is freely uh, no peer required for users. You can use it for experimentation. So let's test the MATLAB classification learner app in Irish dataset. The first step, step one, is to search for the Irish dataset in YouTube in Google. Go to google.com. So let's search Irish data set in Excel. So there are, are the available links in the internet, so many. But let's choose this data set from faculty SMU edu. So let's open this. Let's open if this is the right Irish data set. Okay, in this data set, there are three species. Species number, first column is the species number, one, two, and three. There are three species in this data set. The species name, the four number one, it's Tetosa. The Torfa Irish for number two, Versicolor, and for number three, Virginica Irish. So for those three species, there are uh, 50 samples per species. And these are the features of this data set. The petal width. The petal link, tepal weed, tepal link. Uh, so these pictures is about the Irish flower. The petal weed was measured for setosa, the petal link, tepal weed, and tepal link was also measured. For the flower of the Irish setosa, also for the flower of versicolor. Also for the flower of Virginia, 50 flowers per species, and this is the measurement of those 50 samples per, per species. So that is, is that an example of how you can make a data set measure something from your from your object that you want to classify in terms of weight in terms of length and this that becomes the parameters that you will use or features that you will use in order to classify that object okay so let's try this in matlab in matlab classification learner app so this is my matlab 
let's open the classification learner app. So the classification learner app is in here. So there are so many apps here, but we will use a classification learner. So let's wait for Math, MATLAB to activate the classification learner app. So it will took a while. You need, we need patience. There's, there is not nothing wrong with this one. But MATLAB is processing. It's trying to activate the classification learner app. So let's wait for it. So I will not edit this video to show you the amount of time required to activate a classification learner. So MATLAB is still configuring, setting up the classification learner app. We'll wait for a while. Make this a uh, full screen. So let's make this a new session. From file. So the Irish data set that we have downloaded still in my download folder. It is this one. So let's open it. Let's try again. Okay, it is now being imported by MATLAB, the Irish data. So we will select this. We will start here. Uh, notice that we will include. We will include the pip, co pip column. One, two, three, four, five. The five columns, but we will exclude the first column. Okay, 50 samples for cetosa, 50 samples for versicolor, and 50 samples for virginica. So this is our selection. You can notice that 
we will not change this into numerical value and let's keep it as is as a description of its species the name of its species let's see okay let's import the okay let's import this collection wait for a while so this is the description of the data set so there are four inputs Petal wind, petal length, petal width, petal length. So the tip column is the output or the response. This is names three unique. So that's uh, keep the cross validation five poles. That means that for 50 samples, you will divide it by five, divided by five, plus 10. That 10 samples means in simple explanation. 40 samples will be used for training and 10 samples will use for testing. Or you can change the cross validation number, but since there are only 50 samples per, per species. I choose to that I choose that the cross validation poles remains five poles. So that there will be 40, 40 samples for training and 10 samples for test. So let's start the session. But let's uh, check all. Let's wait for a while. So PCA is disabled. Oh, the scatter plot has now been shown, but we, uh, we will unselect the use parallel. And uh, use parallel means there will be parallel session. All 23 classifiers working at an instant, working parallelly, working in parallel. But since this is a very small sample, small data set, very small samples, uh, we will not use the use parallel. So let's choose the all. And uh, select train.
So we are now in the training for the pine tree or the pine tree algorithm. So for the first three, we have 96.7% accuracy. Let's wait. Pine tree, 96.7. Medium tree, 96.7. Course tree, 96.7. Linear discriminant, 98.0%. Quadratic discriminant, 98%. SBM, linear SBM, 95.3. Quadratic SBM 96.3. Cubic SBM 95.3. SBM 94. SBM medium Gaussian SBM 96.7. Coarse Gaussian SBM 96.7. Fine KNN 95.3. Medium KNN 96. Force KNN 86.7, KNN 82.7, KNN cubic KNN 94.7, weighted KNN 96, ensemble or boosted twist 33.3%, very low classification by the boosted twist. For the baggy twist, 95.3%. Uh, ensemble 96.0 ensemble subspace discriminant 96% subspace subspace KNN 92.7% RUS boosted trees 33% so there are two very low classification by the boosted trees and RUS boosted, boosted trees so we can see out of, so there are 22 classifiers. We can see here that the classifiers are now only 22. There are 22 classifiers out of 22 classifiers. We can see that the two got the highest accuracy. The linear discriminant and the quadratic discriminant, both having 98.0%. So how do we decide which of the two is better? Out of 22, these two are better. The best tied for first runner up, 98%. But which of the two Which of the two is the best? We choose only one and recommend it. So how we how do we decide which one is the best? So we look for other parameters in the result. For accuracy, 98.0. The training time is 3.55. 83 seconds, 3.55, 83 seconds for the linear discriminant. So let's look for the quadratic discriminant. Quadratic discriminant, the training time is 0 0.6181801 seconds. So it is obvious that the quadratic discriminant has the speedier or faster training time. 
So out of the two, both have the both have high accuracy of 98%. That is acceptable. That is an acceptable percentage for a classifier. And out of the two, the faster algorithm, classifier algorithm is the quadratic discriminant. So you can write in your paper that quadratic discriminant is the best algorithm to use for the for the Irish data set. And let's see the scatter plot. So this is the scatter plot. You can cut this and paste it into your paper. Then show some explanation. From this scatter plot, we can see that the blue, the setosa, virginica is the virginica is the orange, and versicolor is the yellow. We can see here that virginica and versicolor are overlapping in terms of their parameters, the petal width and petal length. And there are X, X mark, or incorrect classification. So that means the incorrect classification, the algorithm classify this as the other one. For example, it, in reality, this is a versicolor, but it was classified by the algorithm as virginica. That is X mark. So this is the scatter plot. So this means that in terms of petal length and in terms of petal width, they are really deep, different. They are really different. So let's look for the confusion matrix. So for the three species of Irish a confusion matrix test that all setosa was classified correctly. That true class virginica one was classified as versicolor. For the versicolor, 48 are classified as versicolor. That is a right, right classification and two versicolor was were identified as virginica. Uh, let's look for the ROC curve. So receiver operating characteristics showing true and false positive rates for currently selected model. Let's see ROC receiver operating characteristics. Showing true and false positive rates for currently selected model. So they are all under one. This is a good indicator, the straight line, area under the curve. Current classifier, the quadratic discriminant. So this means that quadratic discriminant is a very good classifier for this for this type of data. So let's uh, view parallel coordinate plot of data and predictions if a train model is currently selected. So that's the note for this one, this description. So let's uh, look at the parallel coordinate plot. So this is the parallel coordinate plot. The petal width of the blue is this is the value of the petal width of setosa pet, petal length of setosa there are the values of in terms of sepal width in terms of sepal length so 
the parallel coordinates plot indicate that in terms of tepal width, those three those three species are overlapping. In terms of sepal length, those three are also overlapping. But in terms of petal width, very few overlapping. In terms of setosa, no overlapping. No, no overlapping with Calcicolor and Virginica. So, using the parallel coordinates plot, we can see that these two parameters, the petal width and petal length, are the two important features. These two features, petal width and petal length, are the two features that, that can be used or reliably, reliably can be used for identifying the Irish species. That is the reason why in here, in the scatter plot, the petal length and the petal width are the only base. Petal length and petal width. Parallel coordinates plot, because they are overlapping, they were not included in the scatter plot. So after this, you may tabulate, tabulate. It is good if you tabulate in terms of accuracy, in terms of prediction speed, and include training time. And that's it. Uh, you can make your own paper if you have your own data set using this classification learner app. If it can be expressed in numerical values, then it can be classified with the MATLAB classification learner app. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned some bad, something from our lesson today. And I hope this could be, this knowledge will benefit you in the future. I hope this will help you in writing your first paper, your first conference paper. You can use this to write. You can apply the skills that you learned in this lesson and the previous lesson about MATLAB classification learner app in doing your research. So, thank you very much for watching.